Hey guys, even during difficult economic times like this, there's always people at the top of the social circles to which most of us belong. Crises like the one we're going through can produce a significant reduction to their fortunes, but one way or another, they'll always stay wealthy. Based on Bloomberg Billionaires Index, that's frequently updated depending on multiple aspects, like the fluctuation of their company's market shares, Today, I bring you the 10 wealthiest people in the United States. Number 10. Walton Family This family's fortune is backed by the domain of the largest retail company in the world which made the main shareholders, the siblings Alice, Jim and Rob Walton, one of the richest families worldwide. The Waltons own approximately 48% shares of Walmart, which only in the US, conforms 50% of the market. The company has almost 12,000 stores and operates Walmart in the US, within 50 states and Puerto Rico. In North America, it operates in Canada and Mexico with Walmart Supercenter and Sam's Club. In the UK, it goes by Asta, in Japan as AU, and in India as Best Rice. It's also present in Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, China, and in the African continent. Even though their fortunes combined sum up to $163 billion, each sibling's individual fortune is $54.3 billion. Nine, Michael Bloomberg Michael is an American businessman, politician, philanthropist and author. He is co-founder and mentor to shareholder of the Bloomberg Limited Partnership, a top-notch financial, software, data and media company in the market, of which he owns 88% of the shares. He currently owns a third of the market, as does its competitor, Thompson Reuters. He was the mayor of New York for 12 years, from 2002 to 2013. And on November 2019, he launched his campaign for the 2020 Democratic presidential primaries. He self-funded $935 million in the primary campaign, setting the record for the most expensive U.S. presidential primary campaign. Nevertheless, he had no success. He classifies as number 9, with a fortune of $60.1 billion. Number 8. Lawrence Joseph Ellison Mostly known as Larry Ellis, is the founder and main shareholder of Oracle Corporation, which he co-founded in 1977 to take advantage of increasing demand for business management databases and direct it until 2014. This company specializes mainly in developing and selling database software and technology, cloud engineering systems, and enterprise software products. According to their reports, they have 430,000 clients in 175 countries and more than 136,000 employees. Ellison owns 28% of the company's shares and amasses a $61.1 billion fortune. This man is known for his eccentricity. In 2012, he bought one of the largest islands in Hawaii for more than $500 million and built a luxury resort and a hydroponic farm in it. 7. Sergei Mikhailovich Brin Brin is an American software engineer born in Russia who, along with Larry Page, founded Google. Google's parent company is Alphabet Inc. Together, Brin and Page still have control of 16% of the company. He emigrated with his family to the U.S. from the USSR at the young age of 6 years old. He earned a bachelor's degree at the University of Maryland, following in his father's and grandfather's footsteps by studying mathematics as well as computer science. After graduation, he enrolled in Stanford University on a graduate fellowship to acquire a PhD in computer science. There, he met Larry Page. Later on, they became friends, and, thanks to data mining, in a rainy garage, they developed the world's most famous web search engine. According to Bloomberg, Green's current fortune is estimated in $67 billion. Number 6 is Steve Anthony Walmer. 
simply known as Steve Ballmer. He is a businessman and ex-CEO of the well-known software company Microsoft. He joined the company in 1980 as the 30th employee, leaving the MBA program at Stanford. Ballmer was named CEO of Microsoft in 2000 during a difficult situation, given the dot-com bubble and the effort of trying to keep up with Google search engine and Apple cell phones. During his office, he made several changes in the company, like the renewal of the mobile platform with Windows Phone and the adaptation of Windows to touch screens. He currently amasses a fortune of $68.7 billion and owns an NBA team, Los Angeles Clippers, which he acquired in 2014 for $2 billion. Number 5. Lawrence Edward Page Larry Page is an American software engineer and entrepreneur, co-founder of Google together with Sergey Brin, and was CEO of Alphabet Incorporated, Google's parent company, until December 2019. Alphabet, which is the parent of all Google companies, offers other products and services besides the search engine, like the email service Gmail, the map services Google Maps and Google Earth, the video platform YouTube, the browser Google Chrome, the private security firm Google Capital, among others. It also leads in the development of the operating system Android, oriented to smartphones, tablets, TVs and cars. And it has investments in biotechnology, health, telecommunications and home automation. Lawrence's current fortune is estimated in $69.2 billion according to Bloomberg. Number 4 is Omaha's Oracle, Warren Edward Buffett. Buffett is an investor and philanthropist known as the president and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway and one of the most successful investors in the world. He is known for his adherence to value investment and his simple lifestyle in spite of his vast wealthiness. His annual income is estimated at $130,000 which is considerably low compared with other senior executives from big companies. He still lives in the same house that he bought in Omaha in 1958 for $31.5,000. Despite being known as an oracle, someone that guesses the future of the market, his investment fund has been one of the most affected by the 2020 post-pandemic crisis, with a net loss of more than $45 billion. At 89 years old, he amasses a fortune of $77.3 billion, according to Bloomberg. Number 3. Mark Elliott Zuckerberg Mark is known for being co-founder and CEO of Facebook. He started programming at 12 years old and at 19, while studying at Harvard University, he co-founded Facebook with his roommates. In 2007, at 23 years old, he became the youngest self-made billionaire in the world. Later on, in 2012, Facebook acquired Instagram for a billion dollars. And in February 2014, it bought the mobile messaging service WhatsApp for $16 billion. At the moment, one could say he owns three of the most important and influential social media in the world. He's a co-founder of the Solar Sail spacecraft development project Breakthrough Starshot and serves as one of its board members. Today, at 36 years old, according to Bloomberg, he amasses a fortune of $90.6 billion. The second in the rank is William Henry Gates, commonly known as Bill Gates. He's one of the most famous billionaires in the world and has been among the 10 wealthiest people for 25 consecutive years. He's known for being Microsoft's co-founder together with Paul Allen. In the present and for a couple of years now, he's kept a very small amount of shares of the company, 1.3%. And in March 2020, he announced his definite exit from the executive board to dedicate his efforts in philanthropic endeavors with his wife through their foundation Bill and Melinda Gates. His current fortune is estimated in $115 billion, according to Bloomberg, and it's backed by his investment fund Cascade Investment, which has shares in companies like Four Seasons Hotels and Resorts, Berkshire Hathaway, Ecolab, Deer & Company, Ritz Carlton, Beyond Me, Today at you, Canadian National Railway, FEMSA, among others. On top of this list, we got Jeffrey Preston Bezos, simply known as Jeff Bezos. He is an American software engineer, founder, and CEO of Amazon, the largest retail e-commerce platform in the world. 
of which he owns 11.1% shares according to Forbes. He also owns multiple companies like Twitch, The Washington Post, Whole Foods and Blue Origin, an aerospace manufacturer that's developing rockets for commercial use. He also as well shares through his Bezos Expeditions venture capital firm in companies like Twitter, Airbnb, Uber, Business Insider, Nextdoor, Chino Therapeutics, among many others. He also has investments in real estate. For example, the 165,000 acres he purchased to conduct test launches for Blue Origin or the dozen of office buildings in the center of Seattle where Amazon is headquartered. He also owns the most expensive mansion in Beverly Hills, valued at $165 million, three apartments in Manhattan, valued at $80 million, and the largest house in the state of Washington, valued at $23 million. At present, and since 2017, he has the title of the richest person in the US and the world, with a fortune of $156 billion, according to Bloomberg. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and remember to comment who you think would be on top of this list in a couple of years. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.